This is not from my uh, Creality uh, uh, contact person. She doesn't know anything about it. Maybe in a few weeks she, she's going to ask like, oh, do you want to do a review about the Creality and the 3 V3 Plus? And I'm like, did you already watch my channel? I think I'm going to call this printer Taylor Swift. Hey, hello, this is Zachary from Zachary 3D Prints. Please hit the subscribe button. It will help the channel quite a lot. So next to me is a big box. We are going to do the unboxing of the Creality and the 3 V3 Plus. But the question is, how did I get it? Uh, during the uh, anniversary live stream from Creality, uh, early April, they asked, I think two weeks earlier, to make a video about, you know, about Creality, what your memories or your your experience was with Creality. And on the day of the anniversary, I did post it. It gained a lot of likes, a lot of interaction, a lot of impressions. And so, a few days later, one of the uh, Creality uh, people contacted me and said, you got uh, yourself a uh, N3 V3 Plus. I don't know what it is. How big is it? Um, so the print volume is 300 times 300 times 330. Heavy duty, Y-axis, dual motors and support rods. This is a beefy machine. Spectacular speeds. A Core XZ up to 600 millimeters per second. Easy maintenance, quick swap, tri metal nozzle. You know what I say about 3D printer maintenance? Clean the bed, check the screws, lubricate the moving parts. And instant part cooling, two powerful part cooling fans. So this 3D printer uh, is like 479 USD. So, let's see what is inside. So, we have the quick installation guide. We have uh, some uh, some warranty after-sale service card. And, of course, the famous Kuva uh, uh, stickers. So, we... Yeah, sh sh shall, we, shall we keep the installation guide there? I don't know if I would need it. There are support rods. Huh. No way. Oh yeah, I see them. Oh my god. No. <laughs> so we have a EU power plug. So the filament spool holder. We have here a uh, side cutter. A bag with some uh, some tools like zip ties, some Allen keys, a wrench for the nozzle, and an USB to drive right over here. Then we have something like this. So I think that this is the brake for the filament spool. This is uh, the uh, LCD touchscreen one two oh we have some nice spool of filament Sorting the screws. Yeah, sorting screws is one of my favorite tasks.
So well, let's turn it around. So there is a warning sticker on this side saying like pay attention to locking the bottom four screws. Uh, when I do these kind of things the way I do, I make sure to have all the stuff laying there. Like in this case, I saw 12 screws. I put in two here, two there, and then I still saw eight screws. And I knew that I also need to have them for the diagonals so meaning i need to put somewhere else screw so i was feeling and i felt the holes so two holes on the bottom then we have those markings yeah this one says left doesn't say in which direction but i'm going to assume just like this with both stickers on the inside And then we take another screw. So, nice. Now we are going to twist the printer around again. Stickers on the inside. Then we have a wire here. And the fun part is it's getting smaller. So we have here one wire, it's for the stepper motor. I don't even have to look for that. So like that. And then then we do here the filament run out sensor. And then we have here this. We are going to push this all the way in. Yeah, and basically this is this is a reverse boating tube. Then we have this little wire, and I assume that this goes over here. And now the moment comes, I take the PDF tube out, put those little things over it, and then we push this back inside. Like that, huh? Yeah, you like that. <laughs> then we have here two wires that needs to be connected. And we have here also a little wire. So, I, I do have some zip ties. I don't know why. Why do I have zip ties? Oh yeah, this uh, amazing cable. So, and 
then this goes in here and then I need to and so here we have this fancy brake for for the filament spool I mean I don't I don't see any reason why I should need it let's go for gold yeah, so they want me to load the filament in like this. Oh, wow. You have so much space on the front side why not having this pool sitting here or there mine like this not like this yeah it's about like that it's off did you hear anything wait let's do it again Thoughts? <laughs> please make sure to have it on three two thirty three two one language selection English privacy policy they have so much text in here and I'm thinking like if you don't if you don't agree with it can you not use the machine then can I use this machine by just not accepting the privacy terms let's let's say it like this I'm not planning to use reality cloud on this machine yes I'm going to connect it with my Wi-Fi but I try to avoid binding it to Creality Cloud. I don't know if you can see it. Maybe if I remove the screen. So I don't know if people can see it, but I I am not selecting this. Next, now my network. So I also get my IP address. So I will write it down so I know it for the next time. Time zone. Here it says tips. Your consent to the privacy policy is required to use the service. I don't want to use the service. I made a video last Wednesday about what I think about Creality Cloud. I don't want to use that service. Reconsider. Your consent to the privacy policy is required to use the service. Internet over things. Check server settings. Next. Start detecting. Do not touch the printer. <laughs> oh my god, what did it do? <laughs> just just look at it. It's it's just stupid. The other day I said I said I said to my buddy about about this printer, how bad can it be, you know? So that would mean if I cannot use this printer in my network because in order to get it to my network I need to bind it with Creality Cloud that means that the whole network functionality is gone and that I think it's terrible if you think about it um, you're selling just just like I mentioned uh, last time with the Creality uh, K1 in the video just seconds It's, it's standing on my desk and it's starting to do the input shaping. So it's going to vibrate a lot on my desk, resonating a lot. I'm just wondering how long it takes that my wife is getting inside. I'm not going to say any dirty things. Maybe I already did. No. So. Oh, yes. at 4408 and you have should have fluid 
<laughs> oh, it sounds amazing. It's like it's a bit louder. True. Self check completed. Now it's going all the way up. Uh, let's let's start a print. You know what? Instead of a banshee, let's go for a little bit more difficult. Shake it up, shake. Do you hear also that uh, Taylor Swift song? I think I'm going to call this printer Taylor Swift. <laughs> yes. Taylor Swift. Yeah, let's do that. So, Taylor Swift. So, now that does look nice. Everything is there. Everything is there. Wow. The five minutes. So now, on request, we are going to print a block. Ooh, 11 minutes. Oh, wait. Let's take this camera. That's it. Taylor did a good thing. So the calibration cube is printed. I did print the maker coin, but I started with a phone stand. Everything including the unboxing and building and printing of this stuff around the three hours total so i think that's great because this phone stand took like an hour so anyways everybody thank you so much for being here it was nice it was amazing and you know i will see you in the next stream bye, -bye.